one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Once again, I will remind each and every one of you that this whole Nighttime Audio uh, Ryoma thing is a rumor. And as I have mentioned before many times, voices do sound alike. So... I will treat this as a rumor unless we get, you know, con confirmed actual like full on, full on someone saying, you know, yes, I know both of them and they are the one, the same one person, of course, because the same way that Illyris thing was a rumor, this is a rumor too. Uh, this drama just proves to us that we don't need degrees, years of education to give proper advice. Lawyers, just shut the F up. PR professionals, just shut the F up. Fans, just shut the F up. Outsiders has nothing to do with VTubing, just shut the F up. Uh, Nighttime Audio never learned about this. If Roma is not him, then poor, how poor Roma? You know, it. I can see that. Uh, but, of course, you get into a large company, there are going to be rumors. There are always going to be rumors popping out. That is one of those uh, risks with the job that come along. Of course, harassment is never it's supposed to be in the cards, so never harass. But there are rumors that are going to happen. Now, Nighttime ASMR YouTube community post confirming he is not Roma, Or at least him saying that he's not Roma. So we'll take both sides. I always like showing both sides. Rule number two, the subreddit, uh, knowing VTuber agencies don't allow interactions with their talents, PL accounts, him name dropping Niji and insulting them in the same breath practically confirms he is in Roma. It's one of those things. He speaks about Niji as a community that took part in unfortunate scams and other bad things. Um, it could be something to, you know, prevent him from being worse. Uh, but like they're saying here, imagine joining a company. The first thing that happens is you get accused of being someone you're not. And that's why I'm showing all this evidence, because I want to show both sides. You guys make your decisions. You guys are the ones who are going to make the choice of whether it is true or it is not true. And that is why I want this to, to be out there. And honestly, ridiculous, even if it got to this point based off a three second one liner, the amount of times people get Claude and Shu and Kyo and Fulger and everybody else confused is uh is a lot, basically. And these people are saying that they're proof and they're right to a certain extent i want to give credence and i want to give uh, an ability for people to take a look at both sides and that's why you know i'm showing my sources and i'm showing my things because i want to show my side and i want to show the side of the people who trusted me with that information um and of course we talks is very condescending mocks niji for being a scam or whatever but then again this last apology stream is mimicking the black stream so you never know but let's go into what he says and of course I am going to do my best to prevent in the video from the actual names of the people being shown here to come out because even if this person wants to dox someone else, I will not be the person doxing someone else. Uh, there are a lot of speculations and rumors of me joining a VTuber community that took part in some unfortunate scams and other bad things, all because I sound like the newest member. These are false. Those who follow me uh, know I have made some mistakes and got into some issues with some old followers who I unfortunately hurt. I am a human who makes mistakes, and I am both undeserving of the channel and the things I have. I am not a part of Niji or whatever it is called. I am appalled to have been woken up by the comments calling me an assaulter, an abuser, and all these things that this company has done. Below is a Twitter thread, literal proof that I am not who they say I am. I just cringe ASMR YouTuber. I am not a scummy VTuber. Below is also a, th a threat I received by an old follower after I messaged them a full-on apology. I am turning comments off to protect myself, so they're doing that. I shouldn't receive the hate to other people's actions. Of course, never, ever, ever is it good for him to receive actual hate, actual threats, actual anything like that. I'm turning comments off. Let's see. I shouldn't. Uh, nighttime audios is done. Stop lying to people to just to get uh, justice. It says, you abuse the power. You shouldn't even have fans, blank, or uh, effing channel. Should be shreds. You effing, uh, it should be an effing hell. Um, you be, but no, effing no. You got the channel, got a good girlfriend, but deserves better than you. And got the poor Delulu fans who might even get hurt by you, uh, like us mods and our viewers did. I give zero Fs if I hurt you in this point. You didn't care for me, us mods, for us victims. I'll tear you down into shreds. So someone is, is vindictive, which is understandable. Understandable in this whole situation that some people could be uh, a bit vindictive in the whole thing. Of course, I do not, I do not condone this. I do not condone this type of anger. I do not condone this type of of attacks. Like you can you can be angry at somebody. You can absolutely be angry at somebody. You can absolutely dislike somebody. But don't wish, you know, death upon them. Don't wish this horrible ill will because both sides are suffering right now. In in the case, in the 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 theory, the the, the rumor, I mean, the rumor is not true. If the rumor is not true, then then Aroma deserves a break. If the rumors are true, then you know they are true. But in, in this case as well, the people on the other side who are also suffering, the mods, the other people who are the victims of, of uh, Nighttime Audio, should also get a break and should also get time to relax.
adding to other things I've said, like I mentioned, I'm putting all the information out there. I want to continue putting all the information out there. This is an addendum to many things that I've done recently. It says, hello, my name is, is Shura. They put their name out there in public on Twitter. So I'm going to allow this to go through. I am the girlfriend of Nighttime Adios who had rumors about him being the character of Nidhi Sanji. Unfortunately, he is not the new VTuber of Nidhi Sanji. We got it. They sound alike, but you guys cannot accuse someone of being the new VTuber. This could just be a cover. This could just be someone trying to cover up for him. We don't know. I can't say one way or the other because I don't know. It says, um, of course, currently we're still dating and I can provide proof here that me and my friends talking about the drama they have uh, between him and the mods. More proof I can only show private due to privacy. And here we go. Uh, this is her. If y'all told me sooner, of course, I would help y'all talk with him. It was Luca's friend list at the time. He never texted me like, oh, Nick is not taking talking with us. Uh, Nick always ignore them and myself. I sent a friend request and it was uh, pending for two years. How did it go? Bittersweet. This is something that someone else shared publicly, so I'll allow it to be shared publicly. Uh, bittersweet, I had to cut combo short due to my academics. Next week is the final week of school. I will not forgive Nick, but I'm glad he's owned up to his actions. This is what people are saying about it, of course. And it says, these are very odd series of posts with a bit of tonal clash between them. I've seen enough internet drama to be wary of this, even if the real person are sock puppet. Like I said, it could be a sock puppet. It could be a real thing. It could be anything. It's all just being jumbled mess right now. And I'm just putting out what I can in order for everything to kind of be out there. Just curious, because if you never know, he probably would see a situation coming. So during the debut, he could fake his voice and accent just to beat the allegations. That's another thing, you know, just showing, like I said, all the rumors, all the allegations popping up. Only so much you can do with that. Vizelis apparently exaggerated his accent, and at least one fan noticed Michi used the voice changer in at least one of his personas, but we all figured her out by her laugh. So if it's the same guy, I figure some fans can figure it out, and they will. But the more they do with their speech or their voice, the harder it would be to do this, of course. Honestly, that wouldn't surprise me either. One, he truly believed that no one noticed him and his PL, again, uh, waiting for his debut to see if it's true. Uh, two, he knew that his PL would catch up to him and started planning on a defense in order to make people think that it was not him. Or three, he just doesn't care because now he's in Niji and he thinks he can get away with anything. Because, well, look at Niji's history of letting people get away with things. Uh, you can fake your voice and accent, but there are other things you have to think about too. If you don't want to let the mask slip, I won't say I think in case he's lurking here. But yeah, even if he does it, sooner or later he'll slip up. If it's true that it is the dude, of course. Uh, nighttime audio is uh, disabling comments on various things. This could be just to go in hiding, number one. It could be number two, to make sure that he doesn't get, uh, that they don't get, um, you know, mistreated or, uh, you know, bad messages being sent. I can corroborate your perspective too. I saw his latest video and saw the comments like a few hours ago and people were dunking on him super hard. Just now I checked the same video and he disabled the comments. This is the worst PR move to do. It makes people be a lot more like wondering, oh, is it really him? Is it not him? It makes you wonder a lot more, honestly. Isn't he just drawing attention to himself by doing this? He 100% is. Just a heads up, he's disabling comments on this latest video as well. Uh, look at his title. Some of the vid scenarios in that channel feature him as boyfriend hurting or abusing the girlfriend. This new Niji Wave guy, maybe they should name him Riona instead. Or how maybe that was, you know, the whole point. New flare, strike sound effect at it again. The last thing I want to put out here is a brand new rat is uh, in regards to the Roma thing. Um... Conditional rat submitted by Anon on a uh, VT, of course. I got a rat for you if the guy turns out who the other rat says he is, and we know onboarding process for Niji takes months. It's very likely he was scamming his fans and mods while preparing to join Niji and debut in there. His very own black screen stream was barely three weeks ago. Unless he's got some mastermind card artist or a very dedicated worker, it's too narrow a window to get a scam going or prepare your corporate debut. Also, as we all know, you have to pay for everything in your debut except for the model. TLDR, what if the guy scammed his mods and fans and used the money for his needy debut? That's a new rat popping up that I am I would find very interesting. Why do I feel the new guy will heavily fake his voice and fake the accent to try to hide things? If, it was, if I was him and an S-head, I would do just that. Now, the thing is that if he fakes his voice with the accent just to escape allegations, makes the situation 100 times worse once he gets caught. Uh, unlike most drama, this won't go away as he's burned many people and they'll watch him like a hawk. So, yeah, this won't go away. You take you fake the accent for hours, but you can't fake laughs. You can't fake other things. This is the guy he absolutely effed. He entered shark-infested waters. That is not the norm. Hope the money and attention is worth the extreme stress. When the mask is off is my favorite expression for this. So, yeah, um... It's Tommy Chris level S all over again. He's going for Shindo Raito's corporate VTuber any percent speed run. And then there's this expose, which is the 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 one that I have that people are, are talking about now. Um, basically, my video. My video is the one that people are talking about. And of course, like I said, alleged Nidhi Sanji library. I, I try to make sure to put everything out there. That's an allegation. Main problem I have with that onboarding usually takes some months. 
So yeah, onboarding can take some months. If this is him, it might be the most believed uh, uh, believable explanation, which is um, known for a minute to be less thorough about it than place the hollow Vispo and the length of the waves, the delay, uh, and even kind of suspect that Nietzsche had to scramble to even find performers for the avatars. Had a lot of candidates to walk off in February happened. He very well may have gotten the nod and known it was done deal less than a month ago, and then he pulled the shenanigans last minute. So it's possible this is planned for months, but it's also very possible that he's just speed running culmination of the scam and getting tapped at the last minute. So it is very possible. I had him in a podcast two hours a day before he posted his black screen video. I can't imagine him talking the way he did. So candidly, if he was already under contract, also the fact that he reached out for me for collab earlier. So it could be both ways. You know, it's going both ways. And I want to allow you guys to see both sides. This person here, this person here wants to really defend the uh, the situation that is going on. Uh, basically saying that if people make mistakes, we don't know the full story behind what happened. And if they're the same people, they, they can change. So literally, how can you say they're the same person? We don't hear their voice. So yeah, hold your things until, you know, you hear the full voice. But um, if I get proof that it isn't him, then I'm, of course, going to show proof that it isn't him. Uh, it isn't Nighttime Audio being Roma. So far, everything's been rumor. But I am willing to show both sides. I am really willing to correct and update my things if I get bad information. Of course. Full line of male Oshi marks. Uh, BL lover, you can make this thing up. Understand feeling skeptical. Uh, even the same person. But let's not downplay scam reaction to people make mistakes. When it comes to something like scamming someone else out of thousands of dollars, how do you do it by mistake? Exactly. Probably not the same person. People can change. We don't know the full story. Goalposts keep on moving. This type of logic has some abuse people use to rationalize staying with the abuser. Make any cause, uh, make any excuse they want to justify the support because they're not actually interested in doing the right thing. Just want to keep doing what they used to do, doing these type of things, and ignore the warning signs. We have zero proof the new dude is actually ASMR guy other than the mod saying they think so. Hold your rats until debut. Exactly. Hold the rats until debut. Uh, take an accent for his entire career or own up to the stuff and uh, change the career. The Tate brothers still have an audience. It's smaller, but they still have an audience. They do kind of have a point. How do we know it's the same guy? And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just show both sides. That's why I'm showing ones that could even show that it may not be the, the same guy. I'm just showing both sides because I want to be as objective as I can. I have information showing one side. If I have information showing something else, I will show it here as I have. A real quick addition, just a personal opinion here. The Oshi mark doesn't help. The Oshi mark that he has is a freaking credit card with a whistle or, or, or wind behind it, like a fast moving credit card. That does not help his situation. That does not help the allegations. That doesn't help with anything of a PL situation. Uh, man sitting Iroha's voice flow can have shit in Tokyo, uh, but he's a Ronin. What a credit card to do something closer to design, a sword maybe. Disregarding the possible PL isn't a credit card for an Oshi mark, a poor taste in general. It is, in my opinion, and like I said, this is just an opinion on my side. It's also a co college entrance exam, Ronin. I'm not sure which is this case, but the Gozado seems samurai. So yeah, it's it's a really bad taste in my in my opinion about the credit card mark. Really doesn't help the situation right now, and uh, I hope they change that soon before he he debuts because it's not going to help anything. Here we go. We have Albin Knox who's saying, "Hey guys, first, don't be scared. Seriously." Uh, second, we'll be ta talking more of this on stream. It's definitely a sad topic, but I want to explain how it'll become something happy and hopefully good in the future. I'll always work with my hardest for you guys, even through this. And Irani EO15 says, let's play Apex again. When you come back, me and Ollie will be waiting. So they're, they're friends. They are people who know each other, which is good. You, nothing wrong with a Nidhi Sanji liver being friends with a Hollow Live ID liver. <clears throat> now, of course, like I said, I want you guys to know the source of everything. Thank you for your continued support of Nidhi Sanji Yen. Starting from June 3rd, 2024, Alba Knox will be going on hiatus in order to pursue a personal project and growth. He will continue to update his ex, formerly Twitter, account whenever possible. Alban's return date is currently not confirmed, but based on discussions with, with him, we expect that he will resume activities around late September or early October. That is a humongous personal project for uh, it to be September to October. We at Nidhi Sanji Yen will be cheering him on as he focuses on his personal growth. We hope you'll continue to support him in his endeavors. Thank you for understanding. I think we're about to see another one year. Uh, Flipsy is saying another one year hiatus into an instant graduation. Take care of yourself. Have a smooth rest. We all love Alban, Alban dearly. Whatever it is, I truly do hope the best for the talents. I always hope the best for the talents. Because the talents are in a bad situation. A lot of times a bad situation monetarily. And that's why they have to stick with a company like Niji Sanji. I don't think anyone actually wants to be a part of a company like Niji Sanji out of their own free will. So contracts aside, sometimes people 
you know, have needs monetarily, needs in other ways that make it so that they have to be a part of a company like this because it helps them out in everything else. And of course, right here, Melon Bread says, leaving for four month break, basically training arc. He'll be attending singing classes, dive deeper into Japanese study, reworking everything from the ground up to make everything better. He'll try to plan for a lot of things, events, projects, etc. For when he comes back, he'll also be prioritizing himself, de-stressing and relaxing. So if this is all true, which I like to take pers people's words at face value, he is going to be actually doing a betterment arc, an improvement arc, which is not a bad thing to do, honestly, when you think about it. It's not a bad thing to have improvement arcs like this. This is definitely something that I will be happy that they do, and I will push that they do, because I'm not this huge Nidhi Sanji liver hater. I am a person who does not like the way that Nidhi Sanji as a company has treated their livers. Mio, as we all know, is someone who is um, going through some stuff and she is going through health. And she has mentioned in her alt account, which is an actual Mio alt. It's actually like, you know, that's in case something happens to her main account, but it's still Hololive based. Uh, she mentioned before about having a stomach problem before she planned to see a doctor. Not saying why she's totally valid. She's a massive physical and mental load right now. Having a bunch of randos weighing in isn't going to help her. Uh, human interpretation, not literal, but more natural. Thank you all for your kind words. I'm trying my best to quickly recover so I can be discharged from the hospital. Everyone is probably wondering why I'm in the hospital. We can talk about it when I get back. I'm not trying to keep anything a secret. So right now, I have an IV and I'm being given fluids and medications to treat the physical illness. My first time being hospitalized, so there are a lot of things I'd like to talk about. There's a part in the last tweet I had is hard to interpret, but I think she's saying that she gets the vibe. She's on a pretty high dose of whatever they're using to treat her. Here are the posts. Thank you for the kind words. Do my best to get out of the hospital soon. Uh, tell you why I was hospitalized when I return. I'm sure everyone is curious. And here is the Okami Mio. Don't have anything to hide. I have an internal organ disease. Basically, her stomach disorder. Uh, first time being hospitalized, so I want to tell everyone about things. I get well soon. People are, you know, gave, giving her well wishes. Uh, I think you may be feeling lonely since it's your first time in hospital. So if your health permits, it might be a good idea to talk a little and get some encouragement from everyone. I think it's hard to touch the device while you're on IV drip. So I can't recommend it for too long, though. So yeah, people are, you know, just hoping she does well. Hoping that she's going to continue doing well, which is what I'm hoping as well. Because it's, it's very, very important to uh, wish well for the livers, even if you don't like the company. And I'm okay with Hololive, but Hololive has had their issues in the past. But yeah, just wish her well. So here we're hitting any color. It's going to be a part of Defamation Countermeasures Study Subcommittee alongside with cover and UUUM. Uh, announcement regarding the establishment of the Subcommittee on Countermeasures Against Defamation. Um, how did AC deal with Ashki? Uh, measures should come from that. No idea. Probably any color chose silence. Source from cover's website, JP version. So it is from this one on the JP version here. They are, you know, this is the, the everything down here. Translated version using Google Translate. Cover Corporation headquarters. Referred to as the company, please announce that it please to announce that has participated in the defamation countermeasure study group, uh, newly established defamation countermeasure study group hosted by Creator Economy Association, which was announced today on Wednesday, May 22nd. Until now, C Association established defamation countermeasure study group in the participation of various stakeholders on Wednesday, June 28, 2023, has been working on awareness raising activities through campaigns and panel discussions and measures against defamation. So they're going hard against defamation in Japan, at least. However, there was an issue of those activities alone were not enough against perpetrators with clear malicious intent. Therefore, we have decided to establish a subcommittee consisting of UUM Corporation, Any Color, and our company, which have been working to counter defamation of affiliated creators by setting up a reporting desk and countermeasures team. In establishing the subcommittee, 12 companies, including the companies with creators, have also agreed to establish a subcommittee, which supports the ministry of blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're, they're creating, um, refer to all this information here. Uh, it's basically infringements of rights, such as defamation in Japan, of course, January 11, 2024. We've been taking measures against slander directed at the talents affiliated with Hololive Productions, which we operate through our internal related teams and our attorneys going forward, we will continue to take firm action against slander and other malicious attacks directed at our talents by establishing and improving our internal systems and deepening our ties with advisors and judicial systems. So basically, they're, they're, they're basically going to courts and that kind of stuff to try to make things better for their talents, which I agree with on all sides. If there's actual harassment, if there's actually saying this guy is a groomer, this guy is this, this guy is that, then yes, actually go after them. If it's just, you know, rumors spreading around, then rumors are rumors. As long as you treat them as rumors, then there is no malicious intent there. Actually, good news for others, but weird for any color. It's nice to see. Finally, a talent library protections. Any color's case, millions of people saw what they did. Most of them even follow all the way back to when it started uh, coming down. So part of things happening to them were true. Now, by doing things like this, kind of weaponize this, so we leave bad taste to some people. Uh, people want from the start when they start going down 
is the sincere apology. That's what people want. That's what I want. A sincere apology and change from AC so fans can back can, can go back to enjoying things they love. What they did was patching things up without try, trying to fix it or restarting in terms of what they operate. If they keep doing this, it'll be fine for a while. But if nothing changes, S will go down again in the future. I mean, who would, though, Nidhi Sanji coming to, like this two years ago? Let's watch it together, of course. Uh, after the F-ups, after F-ups, after a series of F-ups, I guess Niji won't change. It's very true, very possible that they won't change. Anything, heck, they wouldn't even care about acknowledging the issue for the change. They will try to victimize themselves to give any reasons through some a straight-up cover-up to the BS to cover up their issues. And that's the thing. I don't want them to cover up their issues. That's why I'm doing this. As always... Uh, I tried looking at VStats. We had an earlier May one. I think it was May 15th or maybe May 10th where there was another one May 20th. People are doing a little bit sooner stuff. Uh, still funny seeing five people almost beat the whole EN branch. It's going to comment the same thing. How an entire branch almost getting owned by Regloss. Finally had a uh, hollow ID back to their shape and Device is is grinding for their 3D, 3D debut. How funny did GN end up being sandwiched by branch of nine members and five members? Yes. Here we go. We have... Uh, you know, Hollow Life English down here. We have, uh, you know, uh, I think the device and Nidhi Sanji Yen device and, uh, you know, the other uh, parts of Hollow Life, a bunch of Hollow Life stuff. So, yeah, in the top 10, Nidhi Sanji only has number two, which is still good, and number seven. Neil Porte is pretty up there. Visaikyo looks like that's Visaikyo, if I'm, I'm say, not Visaikyo, I mean, uh, V4 Mirai maybe, or, or, or another one, another V based one. Uh, v is in, still in 11. Face Connect is in top 10. So yeah, uh, right now the only one that's the only ones that are really suffering when it comes to hours viewed is Neo Porte and Nidhi Sanji En in the top 10. I mean, in the top 10, you have this other other person out here, 45.4. This N mark and the uh, the English, the other English down here is also suffering a bit. I don't know exactly what that is. Doesn't look like Hollow Life based, but it's another English one, so they're also suffering a bit. But so far. Nidhi Sanji JP and Hollow Life JP are still doing well. They're actually getting improvements. But still, it looks it looks kind of weird. The link, of course, is this one here. It's the blog.vstats showing everything here, showing the top 10 uh, watched VTubers, I guess. And now, actually, you know, Nidhi Sanji has, has uh, top three, it looks like. And, uh, oh, the top watched uh, collabs or um, actual uh, YouTube videos. The top YouTube videos are um, Nidhi Sanji based, the top couple of them. The top livers right now are still top three are um, are Aski, Pekora, and top one is Miko, it looks like. Then you have Pekora, Pekora, and the other things. Yeah, it's just basically the same same numbers. Uh, top livers, the, the, the one that I just mentioned was also more videos based on livers instead of based on, you know, the actual company. The top three are still, like I mentioned, in Hollow Live, then we have number four, which is Nidhi Sanji. It looks like the actual channel. Then ac actual Liver top six is Kuzuha. Then you have some another one down here, top um, on the nine. It's all doing okay, but you know, just take it with a grain of salt. This is information that is not fully compiled for the whole month. Here is news of cover UUM any color any color collaborating on to fighting harassment. Who invited my man Blood? Bro thinks he's on the team. <laughs> Nidhi Sanji thinks he's on the team. Because these guys are good actors and Nidhi Sanji's not. Only reason any color wanted to include it in this thing is because they can weaponize it together with defamation and all that kind of stuff. That's what they're trying to do. They don't even support their own talents to defend themselves against their own toxic case. That's one of the things that happens here. They admit there's bullying against Selen, but not one even made a public apology about it. Have track records of hiring evil person, Nidhi KR, Queen B, and Nidhi JP are now alleged scammer and BFE new talent. Uh, the JP talent got harassed by one guy for months, did nothing until the culprit turned himself in. You know, they, they weaponize things against others. So that's what why they say, like, this guy thinks he's a part of the group. Decided to repost this from deleted Arnidi Sanji post in light of Astle's McDonald's controversy. Scarlet fans, anti Nidhi Sanji people, Twitter activists, any color, WTF? Like, yeah, any color is working against Scarlet fans. Yes. And anti Nidhi Sanji. Yes. And because of Astle tried to be canceled because he was, he was freaking, he got McDonald's. That's why he was trying to be canceled, for God's sakes. News about the new wave compelled me to make this LOL. Don Joe Sargent. Kurosanji, why did you put an S show so quickly, Kurosanji? S happens, Drill Sergeant. Jesus H. Christ, this is a new company record. Exactly, it's a new company record. Imagine this is how the lawyers are like. Real. Uh, the S storm is approaching. Uh, bad fur day, pretty much for them. Short, and it says, uh, Nidhi Sanji and Civil War. Girl releases ASMR to comfort the Nidhi refugees. Uh, April 24th. Every 2024, Nidhi Sanji AR live concert, Gura streams at the same time. May 2024, Nidhi EN Livers debut, trying to grab attention. Gura releases tweet, grabs attention instead. The shark confirmed to be circling the sinking yacht, and now she smelled three fish prey. The fresh prey. 
No wonder Riku hates Gura. Remember how one of Nidhi Sanji Yen's interview questions was? How do you plan on completing with Gar Gura? Gura is living rent free in Nidhi Sanji. Good evening, Agent Samigaki. Nidhi Sanji is debuting a new wave this weekend. You know you must be done. Yes, she must come out. Tactical Shark. Shark circling the yacht comparison needs fan arts about it. Imagine what a classic shark fin circling the yacht. But when you look at underwater, the shark itself is just Gura during her consistent uh, face streaming. Yeah, this is all fun. It's all fun in games, of course. This, I put it in the meme section because it is a meme. This is a meme in and of itself. Um, this has got to be a new low, of course. Satisfying is basically uh, Reimu Endo and Ayamare not doing very well when it comes to numbers. Uh, people are getting tired of the EN side. It's, I think that's what it is more than anything. They don't promote. They don't pay salary. They only take a huge tip, uh, cut from Circuit Chat. They block collabs and sponsorships on top of all that. Their bleeding subs and your reputation also gets hit just because you're a part of it. Bet they're having a problem paying rent at this point. Point, and sadly they are most likely because this this does not bode well for them but uh that's all for the nidhi sanji um memes for today that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.